Hello everyone, so today I woke up on the wrong side of the bed um, I, the world is getting on my shoulders a little bit and if you're an empath as well like me you'll get this from time to time things just go on a bit too long sometimes and you feel that there needs to be a change and you kind of sense a change normally uh, before this COVID situation happened I sensed that something was going to happen and I actually made a video on the empath one of the empath groups on, on, on on Facebook saying I feel like something's gonna happen and many many people replied saying I feel the same then about a week later the whole COVID situation happened and um, so being empathic you kind of get a sense of things that are uh, going right and things that are going wrong and you get a sense of when things are gonna end but with the COVID situation uh, because it's being controlled from an external source ie the government etc um, whenever we get this sense that something's going to naturally change, it doesn't change, you see, because they're going against the natural flaws of the universal laws. So it's gone on a little bit too long now, um, and it's starting to really, really uh, hit me hard, okay? I'm trying to deal with it. Luckily, I don't have to work long hours in, in, in inside, like a lot of people are, in their own house, which is also bad for people's mental health because it's making their own home into their workplace which is very very dangerous um, but there's also lots of people walking around very miserable because they're all sick of this situation okay they're all walking around with the masks on and um, nobody enjoys this situation and um, whether they follow the rules or not I personally don't wear a mask and I never have because I choose not to do that uh, and I'm exempt from one because of my mental health but Everybody should have that choice, you see, but everyone's going around quite miserable. Um, and the, here's the difference between an awakened person and non-awakened people, okay? As you become more awakened and you expand your consciousness, you see things from a higher viewpoint, okay? So for instance, everybody's walking around with the masks on, very depressed, um, very sick of this situation. Whereas I'm walking around without a mask on, very depressed, very sick, the fact that they're walking around with masks on. See, so there's like a next level to everything, um, and it's the same with when I go in the coffee shops. I mean, I got this coffee today, and uh, the the coffee shop was basically um, dead. There was no people in it at all, and I'm used to going to coffee shops and seeing lots of people sitting down socialising. But all our socialisation um, constructs have been took away from us, which is very damaging. Um, and none of us, nobody can kind of have the livelihood anymore. But I got this coffee and I'm thinking to myself, well, I enjoy going out to get a coffee and watching people drinking their coffee. Okay, that's why I go out. Whereas most people go out to get a coffee to drink the coffee. See, so there's always a, a next level of a spiritual evolution or conscious expansion, whatever you want to call it. And as we go through this awakening stage, we'll see the next level. But anybody on one level does not understand the next level until they've seen it for themselves. That's why when people like us go out and teach people things that will go in, in one ear and out the other most of the time. And, and a lot of the times you, they think you're crazy, okay? People will look at me because I'm not wearing a mask and they'll not understand why I'm not wearing a mask, okay? Even if I say I'm exempt and show an exemption card, they're, they're still like, oh. It's as if they've never understood uh, how to do their own thing, okay? They've, all they've ever understood is conformity and they don't understand anything else. Someone on that level is never gonna be able to see everything from, from a higher level and go out and be depressed about everybody wearing the masks and the whole situation as a whole. They're not gonna see the bigger picture. And as we expand our consciousness, we start seeing the bigger picture of everything. And um, this has its good points and also has its bad points. The good points are uh, you can control your life a lot better because you, you foresee things coming. You see things that are going to come and uh, you can prepare yourself for them. I knew when, as soon as this COVID situation happened, I knew how to prepare myself for it. I knew how to live uh, a life where I still was free when everybody else wasn't free. Because uh, I, I know how to do that uh, due to my experience. Um, so yeah, so, so as you expand your consciousness, you start to see more and more things in the world the way they really are, okay? Not the way someone's telling you that they are, like the government's telling us one thing and evidence is showing other things and 
it's just a big mess guys but i hope you're all dealing with covid okay um, if you do wake up on the wrong side of the bed uh, just get yourself out let your higher self talk to you because your higher self will tell you what are you doing like today my higher self said what are you doing lee why are you getting so depressed about people walking around in masks for so long yes it's not natural yes it's being controlled and it's not going with the natural flows of the universe because viruses themselves are a natural flow of the universe and they have to they have to go out there and they have to release themselves that's how our immune systems develop um but it also told us that yeah you, you're seeing people with masks on um and it's not a very good thing okay because it's not part of being human hiding your human uh human things like your face etc um so it said well think about it this way lee it, it, if you're unhappy about this now all this is going to do is make you appreciate the world more when this is over okay so when this is over we'll appreciate seeing people's faces again we'll appreciate less restrictions okay and uh, sometimes something has to be taken away from you before you can fully appreciate it and this is the process we're all going through. Um, many, many people, I don't think they were awakening as fast as they should because the, the powers that be, the, the government, the um, social media, were all controlling them in a way where they wanted them in one place. But uh, as a whole entity, as all consciousness exists as one as well, this entity itself has to evolve. So if, if the macrocosm are trying to control the... Uh, the the microcosms are trying to control the macrocosm as it is with the governments etc um, what's going to happen is the macrocosm is going to fight in the end and it's going to release something that's going to make uh, the, the microcosm evolve uh, because it has to evolve as a whole and that's what this COVID is this is why all these disasters still happen in the world and uh, because it's I, I believe it's part of the karmic cycle of the way we're behaving not me and you but the way the governments and the control systems working um because humanity isn't at a level where they understand the universal laws and they can love to a point where it's all gonna happen naturally and once you get to that point once you, once you understand all the universal laws and why everything's here and you just accept it all without any agenda without any ego without any rules etc uh, stopping it from evolving I'm not saying ego is a bad thing ego is a good thing as well but when you use your ego in the wrong way this is when all these bad things happen and this is the state of the world at the moment everything's kind of every bad thing is happening because of our actions um not directly but because there's a universal energy that's invisible to most people okay if you don't understand this energy you're not going to get it okay you're not going to get this but this is what's happening guys and uh if you wake up on the wrong side of the bed just try and look at the positive aspects of everything see everything from a whole understand why it's happening and once you understand that you'll see there's light at the end of the tunnel no matter what happens okay because this is non-duality whatever happens there's always light at the end of the tunnel because everything's happening for a reason and it is all one so that's it for this video guys please subscribe like this video and i'll be back very shortly with a new video hope you all had an amazing Christmas. I'll see you guys soon.